So we traditionally do a hair transplant by getting hair from the back of the scalp mm -hmm. through this long, thin strip. That area is removed, closed, and that strip is put under microscopes. And under the microscopes, we dissect out hair in its naturally occurring groups of one to four. And these little tiny uh, bundles of hair are then implanted into the scalp. Right, usually in the front. Right, yeah. front and then the top and sometimes in the back of the scalp, mm -hmm. with the front, of course, being the most important. Right. About five or six years ago, we started doing the transplant by removing hair directly from the back of the scalp. Whereas instead of taking a long piece and putting it under a microscope, we go in the back of the scalp and through a little tiny punch, take out these pieces one by one. So almost more randomly instead of a strip. Right. But you need thousands of them, and it's a really tedious process. And the procedure has to be exact. Mm -hmm. You have to follow the angle of the hair, the way it comes out. The instrument has to be centered right. exactly over the follicular unit. So it really, when you're trying to do thousands of them for a hair transplant, it becomes literally impossible for the physician to do it consistently and accurately. Right. So within the last two years, there's been a robot that actually can do what we were struggling to do for mm -hmm. the last half decade.